today we're going to talk about how to solve problems involving rational algebraic expressions. These are the steps in solving worded problems. We have step 1, we need to read and analyze the problem. So, kailangan nating malaman or ma-identify kung ano yung main problem para mas madali nating maisipan ng solution. Kasi hindi natin masosolve yung problem if hindi natin alam kung ano yung hinahanap or kung ano yung kailangang isolve. Step number two, we need to create a representation or an illustration, especially if we're dealing with uh, problems involving geometry. So, kailangan nating i-draw or i-illustrate para mas madali nating ma-visualize yung problem. At saka mas madali rin nating ma-analyze at maintindihan kung ano yung problem if we will write some representation. And then we have step 3, we need to develop an equation. And then step 4, we need to solve the problem using yung equation na ginawa natin. And then step number 5, we need to check our solution. Now let's try some examples. We have letter A, Rosinante can paint a room in 2 hours and his friend Doffy can paint the same room in 5 hours. If they will work together, how long would it take them to paint the room? So, hanapin muna natin or let's identify kung ano yung tinatanong sa problem. So, according to the problem, how long would it take them to paint the room? So, this is the main problem. So, gaano daw katagal nila matapos yung work if they would work together? Okay. So, let's identify the given. So, we have Rosinante. According to the problem, Rosinante can finish the job in 2 hours. And then, Doffy can finish it in 5 hours. So, these are yung mga time nila. So, 2 hours kay Rosinante and then kay Doffy naman is 5 hours. And then, yung rate ni Rosinante is 1 half per hour and then kay Doffy naman is 1 fifth. So, bakit 1 half at bakit 1 fifth? So, when we say 1 half per hour, uh, half ng job yung natatapos niya every hour. Kumbaga, 50% ng trabaho niya ang natatapos niya per hour. Kaya, in 2 hours, matatapos na yung job niya 100%. Kay Dofi naman, 5 hours. So, kaya, 1 fifth, so ibig sabihin, 20% ng trabaho niya ang natatapos niya every hour. So, times 5, 100%. So, ibig sabihin, after 5 hours, tapos na yung trabaho niya. And then, yung formula is rate times time is equal to work. And so, 2 hours times 1 half, magiging 1. And then, 5 hours times 1 fifth, magiging 1. So, bakit 1 palagi? So, yung work na 1, ang ibig sabihin niyan is 100%. So, ibig sabihin, tapos na yung trabaho. 100% complete na siya. Kasi nga, si Rosonante can do it in 2 hours. So, kaya in 2 hours, 100% na yung work. And then, si Doffy naman, 5 hours. So, ibig sabihin, in 5 hours, Tapos na yung work, so 1 na yung work or 100%. And then, we need to identify or we need to find yung time nila together. Since hindi natin alam kung ilan yung time, gagawin natin siyang x since unknown. So, together, yung time nila is x hours. So, yung rate nila, kung napapansin nyo kung ilan yung time, yung rate niya is 1 over time. For example, kay Rosinante, 2 hours yung time niya, so sabihin yung rate niya is 1 over 2. Then, if 5 hours naman, 1 over 5. So, if so if x hours yung time, yung rate is 1 over x. And then, yung work is equal to 1. So, if yung rate nila together is 1 over x, and they will work x hours, so x times 1 over x, they will complete the work. So, magiging 1 na yung work. Now, let's try to develop an equation. So, based sa ating representation, yung rate ni Rosinante is 1 half at yung rate ni Doffy is 1 fifth. And then, yung rate nila together is 1 over x. Ibig sabihin lang nito, if we will add yung rate ni Rosinante at yung rate ni Doffy, yung makukuha natin is yung rate nila, nila together which is 1 over x. That's why yung equation natin is 1 half plus 1 fifth is equal to 1 over x. Since meron na tayong equation, ang next thing na gagawin natin is we will solve for x. So, yeah, we have 1 half plus 1 fifth is equal to 1 over x. And then, magiging 5 plus 2 over 10 is equal to 1 over x. 
Kasi si 1 half and 1 fifth are the similar fractions. So, we need to find the LCD which is si 10. And then, 10 divided by 2, we have 5 times 1, we have 5. That's why naging 5 dito. And then, we also have 10 divided by 5 which is 2 times 1. That's why we have 2. So, we have 5 plus 2 all over 7 is equal to 1 over x. At magiging, 7 over 10 is equal to 1 over x. And then, we can multiply 10 over x both sides or we can just cross multiply. Magiging 7, 7x is equal to 10. And then, divide both sides by 7, we get x is equal to 10 over 7 hours. Next, let's check our answer if tama ba yung 10 over 7 hours. So, we have yung rate ni Rosinante is 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, rate times time. So, we have 1 half times 10 over 7. Yung makukuha natin is 5 over 7. And then kay Dofi naman, we have 1 over 5 kasi 1 fifth yung rate niya. Times time na na-solve natin na 10 over 7, magiging 2 over 7. And then dapat if we will add the 2, where, so ito yung work nila. So, ang natapos ni Rosinante in 10 over 7 hours is 5 over 7 ng work. And then ang natapos ni Dofi in 10 over 7 hours ay 2 over 7 ng work. So, dapat if I-add natin yung natapos nila, dapat yung makukuha natin ay 1. So, we have 5 over 7 plus 2 over 7. We have 7 over 7. And then, we have 1. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot natin na x is equal to 10 over 7 hours. Let's proceed to our second example. The area of a rectangular garden is 45x over 4x plus 8 square meters. If the width is 5x over 2x plus 4 meters... What is the length of the garden? So, yung hinahanap is yung length ng garden. And then, take note, the garden is rectangular. So, yung given, yung area daw is 45x over 4x plus 8. At yung width daw is 5x over 2x plus 4. So, hahanapin natin yung length. We all know that the area of the rectangular garden is equal to length times width. And then, since given yung area at saka width, ang gagawin na lang natin is we will find the length. So, since area is 45x over 4x plus 8, and then width is 5x over 2x plus 4, we have 45x over 4x plus 8 is equal to length times 5x over 2x plus 4. And then, to solve for L, we need to divide both sides by 5x all over 2x plus 4. So, magiging... 45x all over 4x plus 8 divided by 5x all over 2x plus 4 is equal, is equal to L. Bakit L na lang dito sa right side? Kasi nga, nag-divide tayo ng 5x over 2x plus 4 both sides. And so, we need to perform the operation. Since division, we need to find the reciprocal of the divisor and then multiply it to the dividend. So, we have 45x all over 4x plus 8 times 2x plus 4 all over 5x is equal is equal to L. And then, we need to multiply the 2. So, we have 45x times the quantity of 2x plus 4 all over 4x plus 8 times the quantity of 5x. And then, let's factor out yung pwedeng ma-factor. So, si 2x plus 4, pwede natin siyang ma-factor into 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. At saka si 4x plus 8, pwede rin ma-factor into 4 times the quantity of x plus 2. And so, we can cancel out x plus 2 at saka si 2 sa taas. So, yung 4 sa denominator ay magiging 2 na lang. And then, si x, we can cancel out x. And then, si 5 na nasa den denominator ay magiging 1. And then, si 45 ay magiging 9 kasi 45 divided by 5. So, yung length natin is 9 over 2 meters. So, to check, we just need to use the same formula. Area is equal, is equal to length times width. So, yung length na na-solve natin is 9 over 2. So, we need to substitute 9 over 2 sa length. Then, times yung width na given, which is 5x over 2x plus 4. By calculating or by solving for the area, we get 45x all over 4x plus 8, which is the same sa given. Therefore, yung answer natin na length is equal to 9 over 2 meters is correct. Okay, problem letter C. The length of the base of a triangle in terms of x is 2x over x minus 1 and its height in terms of x is x squared minus 1 all over x minus 2. What is the area of the triangle in terms of x? So yung hinahanap sa problem is yung area ng triangle. 
So according sa, sa problem, yung base daw is 2x plus 2x all over x minus 1 at yung height daw is equal to x squared minus 1 all over x minus 2. So, so yung hahanapin natin is yung area. We all know that the area of the triangle is equal to base times height all over 2. So since given yung base at saka yung height, we just need to substitute the given. So we get area is equal to 2x all over x minus 1 times the quantity of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 2 all over 2. And then we need to multiply the numerator. And then since we divided the expression by 2, so it is the same as multiplying 1 half. So magiging area is equal to 2x times the quantity of x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 2 times 1 half. And then by simplifying, so we need to factor out first para mas makita natin yung mga common factors na pwedeng makancel out. So yung area natin ay magiging 2x times the quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1 all over x minus 1 times the quantity of x minus 1 times 2. And then as you can see, we can cancel out x minus 1 at saka si 2. So yung matitira is si x times the quantity of x plus 1 all over x minus 1. And then we can distribute x sa numerator. So magiging x squared plus x all over x minus 2. So this will be our final answer. So it is in terms of x kasi according to the problem, what is the area of the triangle in terms of x? So tama itong sagot natin. It is area is equal to x squared plus x all over x minus 2. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.